Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Yes, it is that time again. It is beer 30, and I'm not just saying that because my wife shot me down for sex. I am out here to show you guys some cool shit that I just got in the mail today. Let's go ahead and have us a few and take a look at what the fuck came in the mail. So what are we looking at here? Well, obviously that is a GoPro Hero 4 mounted on a Shoei RF 1100 helmet. This is my personal helmet that I use for motovlogging. As you can see, it has a Senna and a bunch of other shit no one else cares about. What you really want to care about is this motherfucker right here. What the fuck is on my f This motherfucker right here. How many of you guys are just like me? You guys are just getting going. You got a little bit of a fan base. You guys are out there, you're trying to make good videos, and, and to make these good videos, you have to be out there recording almost 24-7 on your vlog days. You gotta be trying to capture everything that may or may not be noteworthy in order to be able to put something together that may resemble something other than a mongoloid humping a fucking doorknob. That being said, you end up with a shitload of these goddamn things. They're everywhere. And these, don't, yes, I know there's only two on the table, but you have to realize those were the only two within my reach. All I had to do was reach over here and bam, there's some more. I could probably reach over there and pick up more, but I'm not going to. I digress. These little motherfuckers right here are the bane of my fucking existence. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of these motherfuckers, or at least vastly decrease your dependence on this fucking battery right here. Beer break. Now, you guys by now have heard of a GoPro battery eliminator. If you've been in the vlogging world for any amount of time, this is something that definitely pops up. And it's something that you should really consider. But there's a lot of different manufacturers out there. Some of them are some cheap Chinese pieces of shit and some other ones are some American made manufacturers. Yeah, you know, there, there's, there's a plethora. There's a plethora of them out there. So why the fuck would you want to go with someone that you might not know when you could go with someone that you should know? That's right, en187.com. That's right, and yeah, yes, there's some boobs on there. Boobs. So this came in the mail the other day. As you can see here, it's very well packaged in the bubble wrap because there's not a lot going on on the inside of here that could be damaged. So let's open this motherfucker up and see what all we got. Looks like the first thing we got here, we've got a GoPro back. Now I'm gonna get back to this little bastard here in just a few minutes because this little mount, whoo man, that makes your life easy. The next thing that we're gonna pull out of here, it looks like we've got a wristband. Now Ian187 likes to include these with his kit. That way you can take your GoPro remote and latch it to your wrist. Now personally myself, I don't like having shit attached to me. So I like to connect my shit up on the handlebars. And yeah, we'll get to that later. So for me, this guy is not really needed. Next thing we're going to pull out of here is, of course, the cable. Now, this is the power acquisition cable. Now, as you can see here, it is emblazoned with www.en187.com, and it does come with a standard USB 2.0 adapter. Now, this looks like the same kind of charger that you would find on an iPhone, from what I'm gathering, but I'm wagering that the wiring is significantly different uh, to make this work with a GoPro versus an iPhone. So let's set that shit out of the way. What else we got in here? Now he also includes with his kit an extendable ratcheting USB extender. Now this right here is a fucking lifesaver. This is a nice little situation to have. Trust me on that. Looks like I've got a little personalized note. It says thanks a lot, Ian187, because he's a cool cat like that. And he usually tosses in one of these badass stickers right here. Now I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna put this at, seeing as my bike is red. I don't think a red sticker is going to work, but we'll figure out something for it. You get the GoPro back with the rear attachment mount, which is a very good thing to have. You also get a wrist strap that is great for your GoPro remotes. Of course, you get the EN187 power cable and you get the USB extender that collapses down into something's pocket size. Now, he really has set this whole situation up just perfectly. Now that we have it all laid out in front of us, let's go ahead and cut the video right here and I'm going to get my helmet back up front and center and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this situation works. Beer break. Now, your standard GoPro batteries are 1160 milliamps, you know, 4.4 watt hours or whatever, 3.8 volts. Now, one of the beautiful things about this system is, is it feeds off of the rear port. This Rear port is the same exact port that the extended battery pack uses. 
But Rocco, why wouldn't you use the extended battery pack? Seems like that would be more logical. The reason why you don't want to use the extended battery pack is because it adds a big whopping one hour to this. That's it. That is it. That's sad. You know, I mean, you would think that something that is obviously bigger than one of these GoPro batteries would put out much, much, much more battery power than what it does. But it has to be built to be very durable, leak proof, shatter proof, squish proof, and not to vent on the side of your face. And that being said, it's probably good that it only lasts about an hour. Well, the name of the game here is milliamps, so obviously an external battery pack. I don't have one of those, but what I do have is this MVP 3.0 iTaste vaporizer. Now, this is one of my old vaporizers, and I don't really use it anymore. But it does have an external port on the bottom here. If you look right here, 3,800 milliamps. Now, if you do the math on this, 3,800 milliamps, 1,100 milliamps, it's a little over three batteries sitting right here. Now with a 64 gig card and one standard battery, you can usually get an hour and a half to an hour and 50 minutes depending on your settings and temperature outside. That's the theoretically close to four and a half hours. That's enough to fill up a 64 gig card on 1080 at 60 frames per second. Problem solved. Beer break. Okay guys, we are back. We've got this shit piled into this motherfucking helmet here and as you can see we have our microphone cable nice and tucked and as you can see here we also have the power cable for the en 187 gopro battery eliminator and as you can see here this is actually a very clean install and what i've done with mine is i've actually ran the wire on the inside here and you can see where it bulges a little bit but right here is the unit itself. Now that's poking straight down, not interfering with my cheek in any way, shape or form, making it very comfortable. I've tried the helmet on, I've walked around the garage a few times. It's very comfortable. I am digging it a lot. Now, something that I did do here is I did take my microphone adapter and this is a mod that I'll show you how to make down the road. Now, obviously it's better to buy a purpose-built microphone or adapter that plugs directly into the side right here, but at the time, this is what I had, and I used the tools available to make this work. So what I've done here is I've taken the microphone plug-in, ground a flat on the bottom of this, and super glued it to the back. Now this is good stuff. I used Loctite super glue. It's not coming off anytime soon. I use this stuff on all manners of projects. This does make this quite the little unit, but you can still unplug it, unbutton it, and remove the GoPro. Now I'm not gonna do that because this thing is a motherfucker to get on and off and I am not dealing with it. Now the last thing that's need to be done here, we need to go ahead and we'll slide her on, make sure she clicks. And then we just install all of our power cables. And as you can see here, we have our microphone plug in, plugs right into place. Now, it does stick out a little bit on mine. You can move yours back some to make it have a little bit more flush fit, but this is a nice rock solid mount, and I, I like it. it. It's working just fine for me. What of the USB cable? Obviously, the unit is right here. Obviously, the unit is right here, but looky right there, there's our USB cable. Now, she lays nice and tight against the chin skirt, does not interfere with your face whatsoever when you do it this way. It does take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but it does work out very well in the end. It makes for a very clean install. Of course, it will be adding weight to your helmet for you guys out there that are worried about actually adding weight to your helmet, which, why are you even motovlogging if that's the case? But as you can see here, we're up, we're running, good stuff. All I have to do now is put my vaporizer in one of my pockets, give the old extendomatic out right here give her a nice plug in but as you can guys can see it's a very clean install everything's worked out very good there's nothing really to report back on i'll do a two week report back after i have had a chance to really give this a good shakedown i don't think anything ill is going to come of it but this is an excellent product from en187.com it's definitely something you guys should go look at um, by the way this was not free I have to stress that. Everyone's probably thinking right now, oh, you probably get paid part product placement. No, I had to drop a cool 40 bucks and it was worth every single penny. And I can tell you that if you're just getting started out motive walking, yes, you can get away with buying extra batteries. Yes, you can buy multiple extra batteries. It is a fucking pain in the ass. 
It sucks so bad to have to change those some bitches out, especially when you have this hard clip on here to keep it from fucking breaking. It is a nightmare. We did a good job here today. You know what? Beer break. <laughs>